Good morning to all. My name is Aditi Sharma. As we all know that today is a very special occasion of our nation called as Republic Day of India. I would like to narrate a Republic Day speech in front of you. First of all, I would like to say a lots of thanks to my class teacher as just because of her I have got such a wonderful opportunity in my school to come on the stage and speak something about my beloved country on its great occasion of Republic Day. India is a self-governing country since 15th of August 1947. India got independence from the British rule on 15th August 1947 which we celebrated as Independence Day. However, on 26th of January since 1950 we celebrate as Republic Day of India. The Constitution of India came into force on 26th January 1950 so we celebrate this day as the Republic Day every year. This year in 2017 we are celebrating our 68th Republic Day of India. Republic means the supreme power of the people living in the country and only people has right to elect their representative as political leaders to lead the country in right direction. So India is a republic country where public elects its leaders as president prime minister etc. Our country Indian freedom fighters have struggled a lot of lot to pound swaraj in India so that their future generation so that their future generation may live without struggle and led country ahead the name of our great indian leaders and freedom fighters are mahatma gandhi bhagat singh chandrashekhar azad lala lajpat rai sardar vallabh bhai patel lala Bah lal bahadur shastri etc they fought continuously against the british rule to make india a free country We can never forget their sacrifices towards our country. We should remember on on such occasion and salute them. It has become possible just just because of them that we can think from our own mind and live freely in our nation without anyone's force. Our first Indian president was Dr. Sachin Prasad, who said that we find the whole of this vast land brought together under the jurisdiction of one constitution and one union which takes over responsibility for the welfare of more than 320 million men and women inhabiting it how shame to say that still we are fighting with crime corruption violence in form of terrorists rape theft riots strikes etc in our country again there is a need to get together to save our country from such slavery as it is pulling our nation back from going to its mainstream of development and progress we should be aware of social issues like like poverty unemployment illiteracy global warming inequality etc in order to solve them to go ahead dr abdul kalam has said that if a country is to be corruption free and become a nation of beautiful minds i strongly feel there are three key social team members who can make a difference they are the father the mother and the teacher as a citizen of country we should think seriously about it and do all possible efforts to lead our nation thank you all jai hind